The party is currently waiting for the morning, as the place is too treacherous to embark through during the night. Althea, what do you do? Althea would feel an energy towards the lake that she does not know is called Luna Lake, but surprisingly, it is actually called Luna Lake. She would, in the middle of the night time, discard her armor and leave the sun blade behind in the camp or whatever they settled in. She would then, she'd just have like a few like dressings on and she would head to the edge of the lake, dragging the troll's head behind her, leaving like a trail of blood leading to the lake. Um, you're free to follow her if you see. She's not exactly trying to hide her things, but she didn't tell anymore what she was doing or where she was going. Oh, Garak won't bother her at all because she's, he already know that she's going through some things. He can sense it. He can feel it. What do you do with the troll's head, Althea? She continues to drag it across the dirt and she, she, until she reaches the edge of the lake and she stands before uh, a rising moon over a silvery lake. <clears throat> and she would... She would uh, grasp the troll's head tighter within her grasp and blood tears begin to roll down her eyes as she looks to the skies. She looks angry. She looks hurt. She looks betrayed. She looks to be in so much pain. And then she will call out to the skies and she will say, uh, let me find it. I loved you, my goddess, yet you watched, distant and aloof, as I died in torment. Since the breath of my spirit, I have served you. I've given you my kingdom, my entire life. This night, beneath this moon, I do not seek you as your maiden, as your mother or a priestess. Now, I will serve you only if you grant me and all those suffering in this cursed land, justice. She would then throw the, the troll's head into the lake as the lake begins to turn red and the blue moon above also begins to shift in color to crimson. And she would begin using the blood to mark various runes across her body as she begins to chant in an ancient language. Kaash Kiora, Divoni da Sin Kath, Devone de Divora. With this offering, I desire to summon your darkest phase. My life for Strads. Imara, make me the instrument of your vengeance. And she would scream this in the forest with tears running down her face as she offers to sacrifice, give everything she can so she can get vengeance. As the head of the troll falls into the water and the red hue begins to fill the air around you, you notice as from the point where the head touched the surface of the water, a red wave seems to spread across it. Like a blast of strange energy, it follows through the water onto the banks, changing its color entirely red for several seconds. The water flashes once again, this time in a bright red light, as it illuminates 
the area around you and the night sky, which no longer seems as pale as it was in the previous night in this foreign land. You notice that in between the dark clouds, the light of the moon no longer seems to light upon you with the old, healthy light. The tears reflected in the moonlight do not seem like those of sorrow or sadness, but of pure and saturated anger, and the new found power granted to you in order to fulfill one oath. But be wary, for if you are to fail, if you are to flee or escape, the goddess which now bestowed new booms upon you will not take away only them, but also the life you so much cherish. She would, as the transformation would take place and her body would begin to adjust with the new magics, she would gladly take this and she would, without even thinking twice, accept this power. And she would said, Now I will have justice. The blood moon rises now. May all those who seek our defeat burn in its hatred. And Althea's appearance would change to reflect her powers. I'll post it on Friday how she looks like now. Oh my goodness. As the moon's energies would settle and her skin, which is now pumping with dark red magic underneath the surface, with her curse and her new power, she slowly makes her way back to the camp a few hours later, leaving the lake completely bloodied. 